What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial we're going to be adding some context to our Revit models. So what I'm going to be showing you is how to use the decal uh, tool uh, in order to add some, uh, add some context to your buildings. Now this will be a 2D context, we'll be basically just adding an image, but it's, it's kind of cool to, to add just a little bit something to so you don't have just a, a house floating in air. But anyway, before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to get featured on my social media, uh, just tag me on Instagram or Facebook in your, uh, in your post and I will feature it on my channel if it's or on my uh, social media if it's relevant to Revit. But anyway, Let's get started. So this is the project that I'm going to be using. This is just a house I modeled uh, a bit earlier for school. And if you want to download this model as well as all of my models, check out my Patreon first link in the description. But anyway, with all of that out of the way, let's start playing around. So to add our context, we actually need to add an image. Now, uh, whenever you're adding images into Revit, uh, you're usually uh, you usually have to add them uh, as view specific elements. So if I were to add maybe something over here in this floor plan, if I go back into my 3D view, it wouldn't be visible. So to create an image in Revit that's visible, it either has to be a part of the material or it needs to be a decal. So in this case, I think decal works uh, a lot better. So that's what I'm going to be using. So for that, uh, I'm just going to be going over here on the insert tab and here we have a decal option. Uh, now as you can see over here in this little dialog that oh, pops up, uh, you, this is how you add images. Uh, here it shows how to add some ATV screen to, to ATV, but uh, let's add our uh, kind of our uh, background effect. So just go here and you go to decal types and here you can load your image. So just go over here to create new decal. Uh, you can just name it whatever you want. Let's just leave it at new decal. And here, uh, this is where you load the image. So you go over here and you open this dialog up and you find your image on your computer. So this is the image that I'm going to be using. And here I've got some options like brightness, uh, reflectability, transparency, uh, finish. Uh, you can use high gloss, semi gloss. I, I'm going to go with matte. I think that works a bit better for this uh, for this case and here let's see bump pattern uh, you can use this uh, you can go to image file and then if you want to have some texture to your background you can add that uh, but for this uh, particular case I don't think it's necessary it's more of uh, going into some material settings and that's just not something that I'm uh, I'm interested in and uh, what you got over here is cutouts and you can use an image file to add cutouts which uh, basically means that your uh, your image is going to be kind of trimmed uh, and as you can see over here on this image, maybe we can open it up. Okay, we can't. Uh, but uh, as you can see, the, there's this image and we've got some background that we don't need. So you can eliminate that through cutouts or I have a better solution and you're just going to be seeing that now when I uh, load this into the project. So just hit over here, uh, okay, to close this decal dialog. And then you need to go here to your floor plan and I want to place it over here, the decal in the background. So you just go to architecture and use some sort of a thinner wall or it doesn't have to be thin, I just prefer thin walls. And let's open this uh, section up and as you can see over here, this is our wall. And this is where we're going to be placing that decal. Uh, so you just go here to insert decal and just hit place decal and you just place it like that. Then you go to the modify uh, tool and if you choose any of these uh, drag points you can make it larger. So I'm just going to make it a bit larger like this. Okay so let's say this works for us, maybe even larger, but anyway so let's say that works. Now we can go into 3D and this is what you get. So as you can see here in 3D if we maybe extend this a bit now we can see the whole image and now we need to trim this wall in order to fit this image. So let's just bring it in a bit over here. Yeah, bring it in on the other side and just bring it in towards the image like that. And let's just make some additional settings. So you need to select the wall. So just hit the tab key, 
and then you go into edit profile and here I'm just going to be editing something like this just to fit that uh, the shape and then just go into trim and extend TR is the shortcut and trim that trim this trim that and you finish and now let's see what this looks like okay we need to make some changes this should go this way this should go that way oh okay this should go a bit inside yeah maybe a bit more so it's kind of difficult to set it up correctly but uh, once you do then it works perfectly okay maybe this one should go a bit like this yeah uh, maybe a bit up no we need to go down but y you get the point this is what you do and then you go in you edit profile maybe bring this up a bit bring this down a bit go finish check it out yeah just bring this uh, let's bring this down a bit remove constraints and uh, bring this down a bit again okay this looks all right so as you can see now we've got your decal image and it's actually in the background so you can kind of play around uh, set up some renderings you can create a new camera perhaps so let's go to floor plan uh, and that's the cool thing about the decals it allows you to set an image that can be viewed uh, in renderings so maybe angle it like this kind of like that let's make this yeah let's do it like that and let's try rendering this so just go tap double R and let's go with medium let's go with printer setup just to make it a bit more pixels just to make it look nicer and yeah let's try this out and as you can see over here this looks really cool it looks even realistic uh, because it's an image so depending on the image it's going to be looking even more realistic and as I mentioned there you, there's an option for bitmaps so maybe this would look even cooler with that bitmap but anyway that's how you uh, that's how you create these effects so next time you have a project maybe you can go around uh, the actual project site take some photos and then use those to uh, load them into Revit and maybe use them like this it's not going to be perfect representation it's probably uh, going to be worth than if you uh, used some Photoshop but uh, compared to the Photoshop time that would take you to uh, create a realistic photo like this I guess this is a lot better if you just need to just to check it out how it uh, fits into the surroundings but anyway that's it for uh, this little quick tutorial on how to add some uh, images for surroundings in Revit thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions make sure to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day